Hey there guys and welcome here to Port Skyline for round number five of the schedule of the Sony Cup series. And one big update is that I made a thank you video just for you guys of the Sony Cup series. It mainly is about the season one of the Sony Cup series because it basically started a tradition of how it gave me a feel of the taste of how it's amazing how cool it is to um, run a series and to have a championship battle. And for season one of you guys to sign up and give me that feel, I I thank you guys for that. And for the guys that came along at seasons after that and supported me, I give you I thank you for that as well. But we're here to talk about the race. Richard Johnson and Noah Hart are on the front row. Austin Lindell will start right there in third, and Nick Mays lines up in fourth. Noah Hart had to qualify his way in. He won the qualifying race to get in. He starts second on the grid here and from already starting lineup let's get down to the starting grid As the pace car leads them through the final few turns. Richard Johnson, number one all time on the win list, is going to be on the pole. Noah Hart on his outside. He won his qualifying race. He's going to be on the outside there. Then you got Austin Lindell in the 40, who's starting right there in third. Nick Mace in the 48, starting on his outside. Green, 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 where green flag is out at Port Skyline. And Richard Johnson got a really good jump there. And here we go, it's the fast turn one here. Richard Johnson's able to clear the field, whoa! Everybody got really crazy off that turn there. Richard Johnson's got a humongous lead, but we gotta keep an eye on some of these guys back here. It's got crazy in the, whoa! A lot of guys slid off. There's Luke Martin, Hayden Klein, Ian Peterson, Trifon Reed. A lot of guys are off right here. Ron Bajor Jr. Theo Stead with the point leader. Richard Johnson leads him through right here. Joey Murphy's worked his way up to second place right there. And this was the trouble spot right here in practice. As everyone was able to get through it fine. Looks like everyone's alright. Good racing so far. This track has proved though that it could get really boring after a while if you get on a long run. So everybody's able to drive away pretty fine with uh, right there. Right here's where you gain a lot of momentum right here or lose a lot of momentum right there in that little hairpin right there. Joey Murphy, rookie right now in second place. Then you got two Hendrick cars right behind him. Nick Mace and Dom Caps right there in third and fourth. Noah Hart can start on the outside of the front row. It's already slid back to fifth on the racetrack. There's Eugene Max in the 88 car. He struggled so far this season. Right now, run, running fairly decent on the racetrack. Now, Richard Johnson here today can write history if he wins here today. That if he has to win, if he wins here today, he will get his tenth career Sony Cup Series um, victory, as he has nine on his resume, and he will be the first driver to win and um, get a double-digit number in his win column adding it from 9 to 10. But Joey Murphy's catching up though. Don't forget about that 2 car. He's pulled away from the 48 quite a bit there. I can't remember where Joey Murphy started but he is reeling in Richard Johnson. We're going to check on the rear of the field. See if everyone's okay through these parts. This is where the trouble spots have also been right here. 
Oh yeah, there we go. Dylan White, a uh, Ro Rove Hudarvu. Oh wait, watch, watch out for Dylan White. He hits James Silverfox there, or not Dylan White. Dylan Young, my bad there. Um, Dylan Young just slid off course, came back up the track into James Silverfox. And right there is the 9 of Darvu. His day looks like it's over. As we do not have any cautions. Yeah, no cautions on the road courses. And Joey Murphy is there. He drove it in deep. Can he get the run off? He lost a little momentum, but he's still right there with Richard Johnson. Rube Adarbu, the only car on pit road. This is going to be pretty big in the points here. Theo Stegel, he hasn't had a bad race at all yet this entire season. And in that 43 car, right now running 41st on the racetrack, or 40th right now, this can be pretty big for him in the points. Look at that car, all beat, beating up right there. James Silverfox in the 12. He's not had a very good season so far. Not really good finishes, but neither are any of these guys back here. Luke Martin in the 6th, but they're 10th in the points. And uh, right now, running fairly bad. But we got some cars off right here. It was all able to keep it good. Ted Oskowski able to take the position right there from the 15th position away from Will Lewis. Will Lewis right there, 11th in the points. Ted Oskowski 20th in the points. Oh, and Nicholas Cordova is back after missing Bristol. He um had an injury after all the club, so an error, and he stayed out. But, but man, oh, we got a new um, second place guy. Nick Mace has passed um Joey and Murphy right there for second place. Nick Mace, known for being really strong on the road courses, is now <coughs> he has now taken second, and he <coughs> and he is going to try and chase down Richard Johnson there in the 20 car. Richard has just had a really fast car right there in that 20 Home Depot Pontiac. He's been in the 20 car ever since season 3. Man, he has been like he has been one of the guys to watch out for in every season for a championship as he is your um, inaugural Sony Cup Series champion. Showing that how showing how good he is um, right here today in the lead. Nick Mace right now in second place, and Joey Murphy's trying to get back to second place there, but rookie's just trying to get that experience. You don't really expect a rookie to just dominate, and Joey Murphy's showing off his competitors, knowing that he showing that he knows how to race right now, running third. With, um, right now, when you're running up there with Dom Caps, Nick Mace, and Richard Johnson, you got to feel proud of yourself. So give Joey Murphy a round of applause to be able to hang in with them guys. Eugene Max right there in the 88 car. Still having a pretty decent run so far. Right here, here we got a battle. Dylan White and Nick, Nicholas Cordovos. They're both in the bottom of the points, 32nd and 35th. So they needed a good run like this because if they have a, another bad run, they could fall out of the top 35. Pretty much single file, no really hard racing anywhere. Pretty much single file. I don't see any passes going on. There's Chris Summers in the 91 car. He's right there 30th in the points. Really low in the points. He was, um, he, he came up as a, he was a championship contender in season one. Did not return to any seasons. This is his, um, first start since season one. So, Summers trying to get a feel to these cars now. There's a battle right here. Austin Lindell looking to try and take that sixth position away from Eugene Max. He may as he is heading down into this turn. But whoa! Yeah. Austin Lindell got loose there. Eugene Max is going to be able to hold off that spot from Austin Lindell there. Nick Mace has pulled a little bit on the two, but not very much. But Richard Johnson still holding the gap on the field and pulling away. Looking like a big threat to get his 10th career victory in the Sony Cup Series. Man, it would, it would be something to see Richard Johnson get his 10th career victory. That is a huge mark to hit. Even getting 5. I mean, 5 is the second highest number of the Sony Cup Series victories with Andreas Allen with 5. 
Nick Mays right there in the 48. He's trying to go back to victory lane since season two. And if he wins here today, he could be, he'll he'll get his fifth career vic, uh, victory in the Sony Cup Series. Let's see what Richard Johnson runs right here. He runs a minute 57, a uh, minute 57, a minute 57 25. And Nick Mace runs a minute 56. Nick Mace actually ran a second quicker than Richard Johnson that last lap, and he is pulling up the gap on Richard, but I don't know, passing is very difficult. He may not be able to get him, but he's going to try. Richard Johnson in the 20 last time he went to victory lane was actually last season at Homestead. Let's see if everyone's doing fine right here. Looks like everyone's doing fairly well. They're not getting off course here. Where's your point leader? Um, your point leader. Oh, there goes the 15. He's off and he's going to hit the 19. And there they go. The 15 car of Charles Sanford. After, um, yeah, he was going actually for three in a row for the win column. Um, yeah, he has, um, three wins in the Sony Cup Series now after winning Bristol and Auto Club back-to-back. -back. If he would have won here today, he would have tied Richard Johnson for the most wins in a, in a row. Theo Steckel, 40th on the racetrack, limping around. Nick Mace is pulling the gap, but he's going to have to gain a lot of ground if he wants to challenge that 20 car. I don't think it will be enough for Nick Mace, but he is trying. He is closing very fast. Joe Gibbs, Hendrick, Pinsky, and Hendrick, top four. Let's see what they run this lap. Richard Johnson. On course to set history in the SCS. He comes across the line a minute 57.33. A minute 57.23. That is a tenth quicker that last lap by Nick Mace. But he's going to have to gain a second here this lap if he wants to challenge Richard Johnson. I don't know if he'll be able to do it though. Nick Mace, he's been on a roll ever since missing Daytona. He's inside the top five in points. <laughs> he... he I'm really impressed with that 48 car. He may be a really big contender down for this championship if he can keep this up. But I don't know if he'll be able to pull off the win here today unless Richard Johnson slips up here. And Richard Johnson is not known for making mistakes in the SCS as he is the one of the greats in the SCS. Winning nine races, maybe a possible tenth here today. Another guy that has really impressed me, Joey Murphy. He actually was down in the bottom of the charts in practice, 33rd. And uh, coming out of here with a decent qualifying effort. And uh, Joey Murphy looking on course to get a, his best Tony Cup Series finish ever. Dom Caps in the 24. He's been up there in the points a little bit. A good finisher today can bring him back up there. Noah Hart right there. He's outside the top 35 in points. He needs a good run here today but Richard Johnson he looks like he is gonna be all good to win number 10 10 wins he may look like he'll be able to get it done here he has the S's that he has to deal with up here it looks like it's all gonna be good for Richard Johnson here he comes rounding the final few turns it's gonna be enough Richard Johnson off the final turn he's gonna win number 10 He's gonna go to he's gonna write history in the books here today, winning 10 Sony Cup Series victories. Richard Johnson gets his first career win of the season, and he will win number 10, writing history here today. Wow. Congratulations to Richard Johnson. Wow. History has been made here today. First driver to get into the double digit number of the win columns with 10. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations to Richard Johnson. He got the pole and he ends up coming out of here and wins the race. Let's go to your official results. Here is your official results. Richard Johnson will end up winning here today. Nick Mace pulled four tenths on Richard Johnson that last lap, but it wasn't enough for him to challenge Richard. He'll come up second. Joey Murphy, rookie, he'll get third. 
Dom Cats will get fourth. Noah Hart, a really good finish right there. He needed fifth place for him. Eugene Max needs that as well. Sixth, Austin Lindell seventh. Ogo also down in the bottom of points. Eighth position for him. Brad Johnson ninth. Dylan White also needed that 35th in the points. And there's support Ogo's also there. 33rd in the points. They both needed that run right there, 10th and 11th. Here's our rest of the field right here. Rogue Darby, the only car to retire from the racetrack. And Theo Stegel, the point leader, finishing 40th. This is really going to shake up the points. So, yeah, sorry that was really boring. I've been really struggling to get this fit race done and try and um, get a race in for this track. So, maybe the next race will be good. We're going to Sawar, guys. Uh, I, some of you guys may know it. But we're going into Oklahoma. Alright, and yeah, that's all for now. And see you later.